I had an oatmeal box with some Unifix cubes in it. Typical, easy problem. I put some Unifix cubes of different colors in it, closed it up, and I said, I have a challenge for you today. I have some Unifix cubes inside this oatmeal box, and I, I want each one of you, whenever you get time, to go over in a little corner where nobody can see you and figure out which color of Unifix cubes there are more of in this box. And when you do, there's some little slips of paper. Take a color and color which color there are more of in this little thing here. And then come over and tell me how you figured it out. Gee, that's not rocket science as far as figuring out a challenge for children. And so, these are just, the cubes there are just an illustration of what was in there. They, they weren't out of the box, they were in the box. So here are the answers I got. By the way, every single child figured out that there were more reds in the box than not every single child in the class did it. I didn't keep a list or say, now has everybody been over there? It's your turn, it's your turn, it's your turn, check it out. I just said, go over there and every child at some point in about a week sneaked over there with a little box and did their little thing. And the end of the week, we checked it. And this is, these are the answers I got. I poured them out and looked. It's okay. That's an answer. I thought, okay, the child's learned. You can observe a lot by looking. Okay, so that's, that's okay. That's, one child said, I made towers of the blocks, and then I measured them. And I thought, oh, great, that's good. It's using that measuring that we've done in the classroom, that non-standard measurement, that's exciting. And one child said, I made a graph. And that child had actually gone over, he could have done exactly the same thing the child did before, you know, made a real graph out of him, but he didn't. He actually went and drew a picture and, and made a graph and figured out that there were more reds. One child said, I counted. <laughs> Duh, you know. <laughs> What's all the hullabaloo here? I just counted. There was more reds than all the other things. And I thought, okay, that's wonderful. And one child said, I sorted them, and then I could tell by looking. There were more reds. And I thought, okay, all of that sorting and classification that we've done this year is paying off for that child. But one I want to share with you. One child, and this was the child who gets those Unifix cubes and makes those trains all over all year long, and you just think of it. Is he ever going to choose anything else but the Unifix cubes? He makes trains, and he makes trains, and he goes all over the room with those, and he did it all year long, and every time it was playtime, he went and got them. And so this child comes up, and he had the reds, and I said, okay, Ryan, how did you do it? And he said, I made a pattern. Okay, he made a pattern. How delightful. How in the world did this child solve this problem by making a pattern? Well, he did. I said, you need to tell me a little bit more about how you did that so I can think along with you, which is a good way to get children to tell you how they did something, if you say, so I can think along with you. And he said, well, what I did was I started with blue, and I went blue, green, yellow, red, orange, and went through all of them. And he said, and I kept doing it in that pattern until I ran out of yellows. So I knew it couldn't be yellows. So then I just continued my pattern, but I didn't use any yellows, and I ran out of browns. I continued my pattern, and then I ran out of blacks. And then I just keep on doing that until I ran out of everything but reds. And then I had red, 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 so I knew the answer was red. Now, some of you are probably thinking, why didn't he just count? <laughs> no. Why didn't he just count? Well. He didn't. It wasn't his way. We have to let children at this age take on at not just this age, junior high and high school too, take ownership of their problems. Sometimes they don't solve them as elegantly as we would like. They don't do it always the way that we think they should. They need to use their own approaches and their own strategies. Their ideas are the ones that make sense to them. 
and thus contribute to their learning. And sometimes we struggle when their ways are not the most efficient ones in our own eyes. But over time, when children have a chance to work with and listen to other children's ideas, then those immature strategies will become more mature. <laughs>